determine the configuration of this stereo center. I'll mark the stereo center with an asterisk. We'll dot the four directly connected atoms. The oxygen gets the top priority, number one. But then we have three carbons that are tied. This carbon is attached to three hidden hydrogens. The carbon on the left is attached to a carbon and two hidden hydrogens. And what about this carbon down here? Well, we've learned what to do when you have a triple bond. This carbon we're going to treat as if it was set, uh, bonded to three separate carbons. Carbon, carbon, carbon. Well, this hydrogen here is inferior to this carbon and this carbon, so this is going to be our number four priority. And then the first point of difference between this list and this list is at the second atom. This carbon beats this hydrogen. So down here on the dash, we have the number two priority. And here we have the number three priority. Now we'll erase our work. Before going any further, we have to look to see where the number four priority is. Is it pointing into the page or is it not pointing into the page? Well, here's the number four priority. It's pointing in the plane of the page. That means that it is not pointing into the page. So we have to use this three-step method. We have to swap the number four with the group that is pointing into the page, which happens to be the number two. So as usual, we simply cross out the original numbers and write down the new numbers after the swap. Now we have to figure out what the configuration of one to two to three is, now based on the new positions of the numbers. Of course, remember, it would be pointless to do the swap unless in step two you were going to be determining what the configuration was based on the new positions of the numbers. So notice I'm going from one to two. Um, I'm using the position of the two up here, not where the number two used to be. Well, on the page, we have now a counterclockwise, or S, configuration. That means step three, before the swap, the original molecule must have had an R configuration. The answer to the problem is that the stereo center was R. Determine the configuration around this stereo center. I hope you can read my writing. This is supposed to be a CL for chlorine. Using the atomic, uh, using the periodic table if you need to, you can see that iodine has the highest atomic number, then bromine, then chlorine, and fluorine gets the lowest priority. Where's the number four priority? Well, the number four priority is on the wedge, so it is not pointing into the page. So we need this three-step method. Let's swap the number four so it is pointing into the page. We have to swap it with the number three. Now step two, what's the configuration of one to two to three on the page? One to two, two to three, back to one, counterclockwise, or S. Step three, before the swap, the configuration was R. So the answer is that the original configuration was R. This diagram looks a little bit different than the diagrams we've used for the last few examples, but once again, it's, we see that it doesn't make any difference. We see how flexible this method is. It works for pretty much any type of diagram uh, that is going to come up. Determine the configuration at this stereo center.
As usual, I hope that you paused the video and that you've already tried the problem and that you're not proceeding without having tried the problem. You're going to get a lot more benefit out of these videos if you try each of the questions first. Of the dotted atoms, the nitrogen has the highest priority. The remaining carbons are tied. On the right, this carbon is attached to a carbon and two hidden hydrogens. This carbon is attached to three hydrogens. And this carbon is double bonded to a carbon, which we treat as two separate carbons plus a hydrogen. This hydrogen is inferior to the first atom in the other two lists, so the bottom group gets the number four priority. And then the first point of difference between the remaining lists is at the second atom. This carbon beats this hydrogen. So on the left, we have the number two priority, and on the right, we have the number three priority. Now we'll erase our work. Now what case are we in? Where's the number four priority? Well, the number four priority here is on the vertical line. It's on the vertical line, which means that it's pointing into the page, which is where it was supposed to be all along. That means that we do not need to use this three-step method. We do not need to use this three-step method on this problem because the number four priority is already pointing into the page. There's no, there's no point swapping the number four to point into the page if it's already pointing into the page. So, we can simply uh, use our method for case one that we learned earlier in this series of videos, which is very simple because it's just a one-step method. We don't have to do any swaps. We should just look to see what the configuration of one to two to three is on the page. It's counterclockwise, which is S. And now there's no reason to cross out our first letter. S is the correct configuration. We didn't make any swaps. So the configuration on the page is the actual configuration of the original molecule. So the answer to this question was S. This is an S configuration. Well, I just threw this problem in to make sure that you're awake. Um, even though right now we're focusing on this case where the number four priority is not pointing into the page, we still need to always check at the beginning to see whether or not the number four priority is pointing into the page or not into the page. So remember, you need to check after you've assigned the priorities, is the number four priority pointing into the page or not into the page? Uh, if the number four priority is pointing into the page, then that's case one, and you just use a very simple one-step method that we just illustrated right here. Only if the number four priority is not pointing into the page do you have to use this slightly more complicated three-step method with the swap. So don't use this method if the number four priority is pointing into the page originally. Instead, you can just use the regular method that we went over earlier in the videos and that we just demonstrated again here. I hope you can uh, read my writing on the blackboard. This is a chlorine down here. And here we have a wedge. Here we have another wedge. On the left we have a dash. And on the right we have another dash. Let's try to figure out the configuration R or S at this stereo center. We can assign priorities. Iodine is the highest atomic number, then bromine, then chlorine, fluorine has the lowest atomic number. Now, where is the number four priority? The number four priority is on the wedge pointing out of the page. So the number four priority is not pointing into the page. So step one, we have to swap it so it is pointing into the page. Now, in this case, there were two groups on dashes. We decided to swap the number four with the number one, but if you felt like it, it would be perfectly fine to swap the number four with the number two. You can swap it with any group that's pointing into the page. Now the configuration on the page from one to two, and from two to three, and back to one, is clockwise, which is R. But then step three, we need to cross that out. 
the original molecule before we made the swap must have had an S configuration. So the correct answer is S. Now, this example might have given you a little pause just because it seemed like a, a kind of unusual way to draw a molecule. You might have rarely ever seen a molecule drawn this way. Uh, but the point I wanted to make is just, once again, how flexible our mechanical method work is. It doesn't matter whether you're used to seeing a molecule drawn like this or not. As long as you can identify um, whether the number four priority is pointing into the page or not, you can use our general mechanical approach. Actually, th there's nothing particularly uh, weird about this. This is just a normal tetrahedral carbon. Um, it's just a kind of unusual way of drawing a tetrahedral carbon. But this is still a tetrahedral arrangement around this carbon, and this is something that you could then see on homework problems and on exams. The main point is, again, as long as we can tell whether the number four priority is pointing away from us or not, we can use this mechanical approach, um, even if we're a little bit uncomfortable, even if um, we're not used to seeing a molecule drawn in quite this way.